Hello, I'm Philip Breslin. I'm a senior vet in the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marines TB 2030 Eradication Programme. And I'm here today to talk to you about the issue that when TB reactor cattle are slaughtered in the factory, they may not have visible lesions. We've already explained in another video how the TB skin and blood tests work. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the issue my reactors did not have TB. Every cattle farm in Ireland will have at least one TB test every year. And unfortunately, for a small minority of those, they will have reactors on that TB test. When those reactors are sent to the abattoir, they will be inspected on the factory line by a vet. The vet cuts through the glands or lymph nodes in the head and lungs. When abnormalities are detected in those glands, they are termed lesions. But lesions will not be seen in all TB infected animals. Typically, they only occur at a rate of 30 to 40%. Why is this? Well, firstly, on an abattoir floor in a factory that's moving, the vet has just a couple of minutes to make the necessary examinations. Contrast that to a full post-mortem, which would take place in a dedicated post-mortem room that would take two or three hours. Secondly, it takes time for lesions to grow enough for to be visible. They start off being microscopic and they end up being about the size of a grape. That takes a period of weeks or months. And last of all, the animal's immune system will try to limit the growth of the lesion. So depending on the individual animal, the lesion will grow at different rates depending on the individual's immune system. False positive reactors, which are animals that don't have TB but react to the skin test, are possible, but they are very rare and they typically occur only at a level of 1 in 5,000. And as single animal reactors, where there is no link to disease. But in general, TB skin reactors do have TB, and they are a risk to your herd and your neighbor's herd. Remember, post-mortem examination in the factory is not the gold standard for determining whether animals have TB. For every 10 animals that are truly infected with TB, we only expect to see three or four of those having post-mortem visible lesions in the factory. The skin test is much closer to the gold standard for determining whether animals have TB. Typically, eight out of 10 animals that have TB will react to the skin test. So remember, in relation to visible lesions, just because you can't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. 